Hey, what is up, you guys? This is Nacho here, and welcome back to Beast Mode Classes episode number 6. And today's episode is going to be focused around the Search and Destroy game type. Um, lately, I've been playing a lot of Search and Destroy, and I know that a lot of my classes have mainly been focused around Team Deathmatch, Kill Confirm, Domination, you know, normal game types are mainly core game types that a lot of players usually stick to. Lately, I've been playing a lot of Search and Destroy, and I do know that there's a pretty strong audience for Search and Destroy, so I figured, you know, why not take the time to make a pretty strong or pretty solid S&D class that you guys could basically implement into your guys' play style and essentially start doing better as well. Uh, so the gun for this class is going to be the M8. It is the four round burst assault rifle in the game. I mean, I'm sure if you guys are playing it, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and I actually use this gun for most of the time that I play Search and Destroy. It's either this gun or maybe like an SMG, but for the most part, when I'm playing Search and Destroy, I don't really like to use a lot of the normal, um, you know, assault rifles. And what do I mean by normal? Basically, all the assault rifles that are kind of averaged out, you got the KN-94, I mean the KN-44, uh, you got the ICR, you know, the FAMAS, stuff like that. Like, they basically all work hand-in-hand -hand well together. They can all take each other on in regular team death matches. But in Search and Destroy, um, you know, generally, you you always want to try to have an upper hand in the enemy so I always try to stick to classes or guns that are gonna give me an opportunity to kill somebody faster even if it's just by milliseconds so that's why using the M8 is a pretty good weapon and you know obviously if you're using this class you do not want to be rushing into the enemy spawn this is an assault rifle and it is a burst assault rifle so you're not gonna win close-range gunfights um, most of the time when you're playing with this type of gun or this class you want to stick to mid-range gunfights to long-range gunfights if at all if you can you want to avoid going inside of buildings as often as possible unless it's just to go out to advantage you want to try to find head glitches and you just want to try to find long lines of sight that an enemy who has an smg or potentially an automatic assault rifle their aim wouldn't be as spot on with yours you know thankfully because you are using a four burst assault rifle it doesn't really have too much recoil so moving on to the attachments um the attachments that i'm rocking that i highly recommend you guys use is the elo sight the quick draw and the stock quick draw and stock work, work hand in hand because with the ars um i like using stock on them because it helps you corner around wall is a lot easier I mean corner around little edges basically online multiplayer is kind of stupid in the sense where you know if you have stock and you peek around the corner while you're aiming down sights essentially for a couple of milliseconds you can see your enemy before they physically even see you I know that sounds crazy to believe but trust me if you try this and multiplayer with like one of your friends or something you will see what I mean it literally is like a little bit of an advantage you have on other people so you can just peek a corner and then just you know peek right around if there's no one there um quick draw just helps you get those snapshots a lot easier because you're gonna be snapping onto people and search and destroy elo site is just my personal favorite red dot site like I said in the previous video it has the least amount of um, sight line blocking on my peripherals so that's why I like it moving on um, I'm using the trip mine as my uh, uh, I guess my tr my lethal and I just throw it randomly on the map or if I'm playing defense I usually throw it on one bomb site so let's say I throw it by B I basically go to a so if my trip mine goes off I know that they're at the other bomb or you know stuff like that it's just kind of like a trigger alarm for me moving on to my perks I'm using afterburner hardwired dead silence and awareness so afterburner is just so you can maneuver on the map a lot faster um, you know if you do a lot of wall runs the search and destroy actually helps you want to try to take tactical routes around the map and you don't want to get caught where you run out of you know your booster or whatever it's called i don't even know what it's called in this game but moving on um hardwired hardwired is a great perk for search and destroy there's gonna be a lot of people running trip mines a lot of people using shock charges a lot of people using shenanigans to try to get you uh an easy death so hardwired just helps you run by trip mines they won't get triggered um and it just it's really great overall dead silence and awareness so this is a part of the video that I would recommend that you can actually change uh, one of these perks so dead silence is a must for shooting to destroy a lot of people use headsets even if you don't have a headset I recommend you put on dead silence because enemies will hear you coming now this is where if you have a headset or if you don't have a headset where you can play with the class if you have a headset, I highly recommend you use awareness. Reason being is because, especially when you're the last man standing, you will be able to hear and pinpoint enemies. Even if it's just by a couple more feet, it will help you be able to outclutch enemies. You know, awareness has helped me a lot. But if you don't have a headset, Awareness is pretty much useless, so what I re would recommend is you put on Blast Suppressor and Dead Silence instead of Awareness and Dead Silence. Reason being, whenever you use your Exo ability, enemies can hear you, so using Blast Suppressor hand in hand with Dead Silence will just always give you the jump. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more Search and Destroy classes or other classes in general, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, and let me know in the comment section below what you guys would like to see next. But other than that, my name is Papa Naruto TV. thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Nacho Nation. <laughs>